This is the Da Vinci robotic surgery system at the Urology Hospital in Pretoria. This advanced system offers surgeons more precision and a host of other benefits and it recently completed its 147th surgery. Here to tell us more is Dr. Isaac van Heerden and Dr. Hugo van der Merwe. Doctors, welcome. Thank you. Dr. van Heerden, before we start with the relevance of the system, let's talk about the hospital itself. It was established quite a few years ago. What is the benefit and what is the role of this hospital, not only in South Africa, but sub-Saharan Africa as well? Yes, this hospital is going now for 18 years. It's a single discipline hospital. This is a specific urology hospital. And the drive be behind the hospital like this is, of course, technologically driven. Modern medicine costs money. And if you don't have enough surgeons working in a single, in a discipline hospital or on one specific discipline, you don't have the turnover that allows you to buy expensive instruments. Now, an instrument like this, what we're talking about, is in excess of 20 million South African rands. And, but there's almost nothing that stands in this hospital that's less than a million. So it's an expensive exercise to run a hospital. Now, a single discipline hospital is kind of the future for specialized care. This, I think, was the basis. We wanted to establish something that we can work according to our own rules and we can put in the instruments that we think is right. We don't have to go through a board. We don't have to ask somebody who just looks at the bottom line. There are many instruments here that we use that we don't make big profits on. But through turnover, we can really have them here and we can really give a service that's difficult to compete with. Dr. Van der Merwe, as I mentioned, you recently completed 147 surgeries in here. From a technology perspective, how is this changing the advancement of urology operations, prostatectomies, um, recovery time of patients? How has this changed the way the hospital operates? Natasha, I think it's important to realize that we just finished our 147th case, of which we are very proud. But more than a million cases uh, has been done around the world. South Africa lagged behind a little bit because of the cost factor that Dr. Van Heeren was uh, referring to. The recovery time is not comparable. The patients are very happy and that's maybe what keeps this progr program alive and it, the drive behind it now. Patients really do well. The uh, recovery time from hospital is very quick. They return to week work is very quick, which is important in a global economic sense. And the guys are really happy and satisfied so far. Dr. Van Heerden, training on this technology is, is something else. I mean, you can be a surgeon in this specialized field for over 50 years, but this is a brand new piece of equipment. How much training goes into uh, getting a fay with a surgical system? I think it's fair to compare it to a pilot. That, that's a trained pilot. Maybe he flies on the Boeings, but now he has to go on the Airbus. So now he has to retrain to do the Airbus. He's still a trained pilot. You must know the surgery. And uh, we primarily use it for prostate cancer surgery at the moment. And to become really an expert with that type of thing takes many years. Now, most of us here are properly trained in that procedure. But now when you start with a new technology, it will take you, uh, I would say about 20 to 50 cases to get on the level where you feel it's comparable to each where you were. So it is a steep learning curve. But the advantage of this procedure is it is much shorter than other types of minimally invasive surgery and it's also much more precise. Once you've mastered this procedure or this technology, you can actually take the surgery to a level that is not possible with other techniques. That is the, the, the main drive behind this. Dr. Van der Merwe, with any new technology, patients might be hesitant to, to go under the, the knife or the robot, so to speak. Do you face a challenge sometimes when you deal with, with clients and patients and saying, okay, you need this operation, we have this new great technology available, or is it an easy sell? It's a little bit easier sell for us here in South Africa because the technology has been around since the 1990s. Uh, it's not experimental in any way anymore. It's established as the method of choice in all first, first world countries. And as from the hospital side, we were very careful in our training protocols. We all had to go overseas to, overseas to learn the basics of the, of the system very well before we were allowed to come back and work on the system here. And each of us who works on the system had to be signed off by an international proctor we had to make sure that you are safe. So we could offer our patients a very safe pathway to the surgery and safety of our patients is always our main concern. 
Dr. Fenirin, as a final thought, it's, using, it's being pertinently used for prostatectomies, but the robotics and the technology has a lot more to offer. Is there plans for future to expand the types of surgeries in terms of the urology space here? I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, all kinds of procedures have been done, heart surgery, and it's fantastic or very, very accurate if you do complicated surgery on the kidneys. Kidney being a difficult organ to work with due to the high blood flow through it and the inaccessibility on a difficult part of the body. And if you can do that minimally invasive, it has massive advantages. So I think that's going to be the next step. Some of us have already gone on training for that. So I think very soon that type of surgery will be started. Well, we look forward to the progress, Dr. Van Heerden, van der Marwe. Thank you very much.